What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? How is everybody doing? Getting, uh, getting moving here on my season. I got mixed emotions on what to do here. I'm, I don't have my set. I mean, I got the starter set, but I don't have a weapon and all that stuff put together yet. Um, how many keys we got? We got 25 keystones. Got new rings or anything yet to speak of. Now, what were we doing for GRs? Hmm, let me try a T10, a level uh, GR45, and see if I'm actually able to, to do it. Basically, I got no rend in the mix. Uh, until I get Ambo's Pride, um, no rend going on. Uh, additionally, no survivability. So I got no damage and no survivability. What a wonderful combo, huh? <laughs> See, this is, feels fine here right now, but I don't think I could do like the portals at T10 yet. Getting that Ambo's Pride is going to really, really bump me up. But I think I need to do a little portal farming, maybe. I think that's the best. It's it's a mixed bag, you know? Because, like, you can go portal farming and get a bunch of gear and a bunch of DBs and stuff like that. Or you can do the GRs. Oop. Well, you can do the GRs. and get the legendary gems, you know? So it's one of those, man, I am taking just big damage. I think I need to drop it down to like T8 and then do some portals. Or I'm actually on T8 right now in town. So maybe get a little portal farming going and hopefully I can get uh, get that Ambo's Pride and the Band of Might, etc. Kind of what helps. I definitely don't think I would be able to clear um, clear the portals on tier ten though. Not not yet. Needs needs more better things. Still and of course, in the portals, I'm not going to have the conduits or the pylons going. Well, it's a bad combo with no survivability and no um, no damage. So I'm relying on the 10,000% uh, whirlwind damage right now from this set. Which is not where the bulk of the damage is going to come from later, of course. God, there's going to be a lot of dying here to finish this one, I think. I mean, my progress is good, so I think I'll get it finished. Maybe. My survivability is just really, really bad right now. I found um, a slanderer, but I need to find a little rogue, but none of that even matters until I get Ambo's Pride. No champs here. Let's just get to the next area.
Dang it, man. Death and dismemberment. There was a camp over here. This taking so much damage is the problem. And then what I should probably be doing is spamming rend instead of whirlwind, but but I want to spin. I wish I could do that. Come on now. Don't stand in the poison dudes. This guy just will not come out of the poison, will he? I wish I could have this is rough. Yeah, I definitely need to switch over to some portals, I think. Just taking so, so much damage. The main thing with the portals, I'm not going to get a terrible amount of uh, legendaries, but I will get a bunch of death's breaths. And then I can at least try to craft, you know, try to craft the ambos, which will be a pretty significant damage boost. Exactly, very good time to kill on this uh, this Rift Guardian either. Try to keep the stuns flying here as much as I can. I got junk in the cube too. But I got like a uh, Messer Schmidt's Reaver and um, uh, in Geom in the cube. So God dang it! So my cooldown reduction should be semi decent. Oh come on now! Yeah, yeah, I got over the hump. You know, it's kind of funny. Last night, I took a little dinner break, and then I popped back in. And I ran back in and did the things I didn't think I was going to be able to do and had no problem. <laughs> so I guess I was just being a, a whiner. Well, there is a bunch of... There's a stricken too. That's another usable gem. But we're going to focus on Taegook. Here for now to get that armor stacks. I don't have uh I screwed up too. This is why you don't I mean obviously this is a junk squirt. But I went to roll that armor off onto a gem and I accidentally clicked strength. So I completely screwed my squirts. Now, you know, like I said, it's a starter one, but still. You finally get an item, and you just screw it. <laughs> uh... 
Yeah, we'll save that Azure Wrath. I don't think I'm going to be using it, but... I'll save it just in case. And I'll be using the Stricken. But I need to get... Uh... And now what do I do? Do I just say screw it? And get rid of that strength? That way I can use the Stricken? I mean, this ring, of course, is not worth doing anything in. Watching DD2 streams has had a negative impact on your paper writing. I hear you, man. <laughs> All right, so we're on Torment 8. I got mixed emotions. Do I keep pushing the GRs or do I try to farm portals? Let's try one portal and see if the luck is any good. RNG is the real decider of all the things, right? We're still getting DBs, that, and we get a bunch of greater rift keys and stuff too. I just really need that Ambus Pride. It, although my survivability is still going to be trash. It's such a huge damage boost getting that. Oh, come on, portal. Where are you at? Wow. No portal from the entire event. want to still kill the elites in here for the, the loot even though it's taking me forever to kill them shit uh, and they didn't drop anything great <laughs> gotta love it Come on, goblin room. Where the goblin room at? Room at? Need a little of that going here. It's weird. These guys are just not dropping any loot. These guys will at least give me some uh, some keys if I can kill them. It's actually looking pretty tanky. Oof.
Yeah, this is just, just taking way too long to kill him. I think I just do GRs, but tone it down a little bit. That will give me some gems, too. Because I'm not even at the last floor, probably. And the enemies are going to keep getting harder. God dang. Stop for just a second to hit your ground stomp. And it's all over. We go. Yeah, it wasn't even the last floor. I mean, it's almost like fishing for the goblin shrines. Or the goblin packs are like the only... The biggest benefit right now is all the death breaths. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to kill these guys. Sick. Try again. Doesn't help going in there all low. Yeah. It's pointless at this uh, stage. I'm going to try still. But. God, I hate to do that. I hate to lose those packs, but. I can end up getting like 25, 30 dBs out of one goblin shrine. Yeah, this is this is just a waste of waste of time now. I do have a Patreon, uh, Steve. Yeah, should be linked down below. All right, let's go into life. Maximum Fury, and let's do some GRs. I'm not going to do what I did at T10. Let's go down to 40s and just try to get some gear and get some gems leveled up. That Getting that Tay Gook leveled up to 20 will help uh, quite a bit. And then, of course, I'll still get gear from these. I just won't get all the the enormous amount of crafting materials that I would get from the portals. That, and I mean, I could always go down to like T6 and just run portals too. I mean, that's... I just need to get that stupid Ambos Pride, man. In the ring, the Band of Might is just a, a tremendous amount of survivability. I'm probably just gonna throw it in the cube. I think with this uh, season, with being able to put whatever you want in the cube, um, it might be worth going um, two ring slots. Cause you could do like the band of might and your um, obsidian ring of the Zodiac in the cube for the cooldown reductions. And then still have room for your Ambo's Pride or whatever. The 40s are running pretty smooth. Not getting one tapped every two seconds. I 
must wait longer. You wish to get my clothes. I need to set up uh, that Patreon for early access to the videos and stuff. There's, you can do that now. I need to go through and set that up. It's crazy the difference in the, you're having a little luck on the league start, how big of a difference it makes. Like last league, I was all, without a doubt already farming like GR90s or whatever now. And right now I'm struggling on 50s at about the same time. Another pole arm, pain enhancer. It might actually be, hopefully it's a, you can go focus and restrain on the rings if you throw your bandamite and obsidian ring of the zodiac in the cube. All right, what did we get? Wailing host, that's the wrong ring. I mean, that ring will allow me to equip another gem. So even though it's trash, I'm probably gonna grab that anyway. We'll keep this for the... Don't need the pain enhancer. But we can throw stricken in there. I mean, it's going to be bad right now, but I'll be able to get it leveled up. Blackthorns. Now, I can't, you can't swap these, can you? I'm pretty sure you can't, but... I don't have enough DBs anyway. I've got two slanderers, but I don't have the little rogue to go with it. That would give me a little bit of a damage boost too. I don't think you can either, but you know, I'm uh, hoping and praying, you know? <laughs> All right, we still need Lamentation, so let's roll for belts. No dice. Uh, I think I already got a gold wrap for the cube. So what's the thing to do? What do you guys think? Do I keep doing GRs so I can at least like level my gems? Or do I swap over and go down to like say, like right now I'm at Torment 8, but say I went down to Torment 6 and did the, um, the portals. The benefit the portals are have is if you get the Goblin Room, you're gonna get a tremendous amount of death's breaths. And I've got the Templar in his desperate. Oh, I don't. What the hell? I was thinking he already had a, a ring. So, let's make him a pair of uh, gloves. Good Lord, man. That's a big old derp. So we need to make him those gloves. Good Lord. I would have so, I've already blown so many death's breath. 
All right, but now he's going to be giving me the double death breaths. Let me just go down one notch. Let's take it down to tier seven. And I'll try to get a portal here. I mean, you just roll through the world in tier seven, but those portals really scale up on you, you know? I gotta look at the altar again too. I don't even know what the next uh, thing I need is. The portals are being elusive today too. I had a good run last night. Like I would pop over into that um, temple of the firstborn and like I'd have a portal like within 30 seconds or whatever. up cake man i'm having such terrible luck this season cake i blew my um challenge rift cash and got nothing out of the the gambles or the crafts and then now i can't find an ambos pride or a band of might uh to save to save my soul here they just don't exist it's just really so shitty on the barb because I got all excited when I saw the whirlwind set was the starter set, but it it just is not great until you get um, that Ambos Pride going, you know, where like the God set, you can get started with the God set right away, any weapon, you know, just whatever. Yeah, the Band of Might is just massive. And what the hell, I just damn near cleared all of the Fields of Misery and no portal. This is ridiculous. Sitting the season out, I mean, that's fair. That is pretty close to the PoE League, uh, too. I know a lot of people are really enjoying the PoE League. I wonder how often Last Epoch is going to do their little cycles. Have they said anywhere what their 
intention is with that. Jesus, man, this is ridiculous. All right, let me reset and go back over to the temple. Ridiculous. I might as well go ahead and throw Rand here so it's ready to go. Alright. Come on and give me a portal, damn it. Give me some god tier RNG. Pop this bad boy out. That's what I'm talking about, game. Now hook it up and give me some goblins. Like, every time you get goblins on one of these, you can do, like, one or two gamble crafts, you know? I can't even kill the goblins, all, all the goblins right now when I get them, but I do still get a bunch of DBs. already at the end god dang it i get lucky and get a portal quick and then it's over instantly like it's that energy trap one how many dbs did i get there 18 i need seven more to be able to do another gamble it's a no clue not only is it a no clue it's a little ways off they're gonna do a news uh announcement on may 3rd of when so we have to wait until May 3rd to even know when. So we have to wait to get to the date that we wait. Um, yeah, I mean, you can, right now, you, at a minimum, you've got until May 3rd. You know? Figure, I mean, their chances of saying, update launches now on May 3rd are pretty non-existent. At a minimum, you'd think they would say at least like May 4th, you know, but realistically, they could on May 3rd, they could tell us update launches on June 15th, you know, or something like that. So it's very, very up in the air right now. I need to get my grind going again, too. I'm really low on materials. It, Alt AP resets would be perfect. Uh, for me right now. Not ready yet. You stand I'll probably do a bunch of them on stream here uh, over the next week or whatever. I gain new You're on 29? Nice, nice. 
I just want my barb to be barbalicious, cake. That's all I'm asking for. I want a barbalicious barb. He is not barbalicious at all right now. Come on. You get the gambles, too, is the other benefit. I don't know. I got mixed emotions on what I should be doing right now. If these portals would pop a little quicker, I think it would be a no-brainer to run portals. Uh, they're always pretty rare, uh, Steven. It's more... It's all about the reroll tokens. That's one of the good things about... Like, it's... Although it can be tragically boring... Um, if you don't have a little Netflix to watch or whatever, if you're doing like alt AP resets, you will get a tremendous amount of crafting materials. Um, and you'll be able to do mad, mad, mad rerolls, you know? Like I had just from that round of AP resets I did on my alt. I probably had like I don't know, 2,000 maybe 3,000 reroll tokens but I used them all What's going on Crusader? How you doing man? I'm having a terrible season start here Crusader RNG is not my friend this weekend as it seems It's season 20, basically. It's uh, the season 20 do-over. Um, now they're at a point where they're rinsing and repeating the seasons. And this one is uh, with season 20's mechanic. Come here, you little bastard. Yeah, you can throw in anything in the cube. Was fun. So, like, I'm probably going to use a weapon and two rings. I think I'm going to use Band of Might and, um, and Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac in the cube. And then pair that with Ambo's Pride. Been grinding out the PoE. I, I made a mistake this league in PoE. Last league, I started um, SRS, uh, SRS champion, and it was really good, uh, but it got super boring, so I ended up re-rolling to a Fulcrum Auto Bomber build, which I really enjoyed, but was super expensive, and knowing that I didn't really enjoy SRS last league, I started SRS again this league, and it's super strong. I went Poison SRS this time. It's it's plenty strong. Like, getting it scaled up into, like, the 20 million damage DPS range is relatively easy to do. But it's just so tr crazy boring. You doing the splitting steel? You'll probably like that. I know a lot of people like that one. You started Lightning Arrow. The best thing I could do right now to salvage my PoE League is to re-roll. But I just always hate going through the campaign again, you know? Man, I swear the RNG on these portals is just terrible right now. Supposedly, you're supposed to get one about every 100 kills. Well, I'm on a 278 kill streak right now. Where to portal? You hate RF Chieftain? The thing RF, the, uh, the RF builds, the things they do give you 
is like if you want to do relatively mindless mapping you know you love rf but the ramp is so bad yeah luckily that crafting system makes it pretty easy to throw um some rf stuff together i actually found a max roll um what is that life regen belt i can't remember the name of it now off the top of my head I can't remember what it is, but I found a max roll of that life regen belt. Of course, in a uh, league where I'm not playing RF. <laughs> Acropolis has been generous to you. Well, that's good. It has not been generous to me. Last league, of course, was ridiculous. It was generous to everyone, you know? But it's been a few quite a few leagues since I had just some really good natural luck. I did find a divine in the campaign on my starter this this league, which made it just super, super easy to get mapping going, you know? Just having one divine. No divine jet, huh? Oof. This is just crazy, man. Where the hell is the damn portal? If you could find those portals in Nephilim Rifts, boy, that would be so huge. Did I get the, the, uh, to 25 dBs at least? I'm at 20, so no, I'm nowhere near. All right, I think I need to just restart. You found, sold an item for three divines? That's pretty awesome. Alt accounts are huge for DD2, Steven. They're absolutely massive. Figure the game is all about the crafting material grind, right? Well, by having an alt account, you cut that grind time in half because you get twice as many materials. So yeah, it's, it's enormous. Plus double gold, plus super easy HE power resets. I mean, it just has a lot that comes along with it. I actually made, I made about two divine this league. I spent my two divine crafting for profit and got it up to about 15 divine. And now I'm probably back down to about, I think I got like three divines left. Uh, but I um, I have probably 10 divines or so worth of um, gold and tainted oils from running blight that I could always sell, which I'm just sitting on the oil right now. I like blight. I wish that there was the, it was a little bit more in-depth mechanics. Like it's so easy. When, once you get the basics down on how to do blight, you just clear them all so, so easy. I wish it was a little bit more challenging, but I've had really good luck on blights. Um, I get a lot of tainted oil drops. There we go. We got a portal. Finally. I ain't standing in this bloody bomb, dude. I ain't doing it.
Thought that dude was gonna wreck me with the stun locks. gonna say where to portal well sadly that is the end of it oh please be an ambus prime please or ambus pride please 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 so sadly another portal with no um another portal with no goblins but i mean they're not gonna be there every time I just really need them right now. That is not an Ambos Pride. Boo! That is an NGM. Oof. What's up, Flanagan? How you doing, man? Um, you have to do another Steam account, Steven, and then um, Sandboxy is a free program that most people use to run multiple Steam accounts. There's lots of ways to run multiple Steam accounts, but Sandboxy is free and works. Um, no luck so far today. Um, you know, I'm still, I'm still hopeful. See if we can get one more portal. If the portal luck continues to go bad, I'm probably just gonna switch back over to GRs. I mean, GRs, it le you get progression every time, because at least you get to level your gems, you know? But a couple of lucky portals right now with the goblin room would be just tremendous. I think the easiest, you know, besides getting lucky and having it drop, which obviously is not going to happen for me right now. I think um, uh, Cuban weapons is going to be the way to get myself my ambos. portals I'm gonna grind it out here today, though. I should, uh, I should be in pretty, a pretty good way by the end of the day. Hopefully, I can't imagine not being at least a semi-decent setup by the end of day two. You know. What up, Ming? How you doing? Oh, 
Oh yeah, well, I'm spinning. I'm, I'm not winning yet, but I am spinning. <laughs> I've yet to uh, get the win part down. I got the spin part, but not the win. I'm getting beat down anytime I try to push up uh, in difficulty at all right now. on really I'm having no luck in the fields of misery for portals like I'm lapping the whole area almost every time temple has been giving me decent portals like I get one every run pretty much fields of misery no such luck yeah shit we've already cleared it or cleared it ish oculus ring my templars already got one but i'll give this one to uh her because i'll be using her later and i've already got it in geom in the cube actually i could save that one as a just in case uh for an offhand if i get uh, the ambos drop and i still don't have enough death breaths do i 24 i need one more db I really need one of those goblin shrines to pop because now that I've got the double desperess or not goblin shrines but one of the goblin rooms and the portals now that I got the um, the double DBs you know that will just be enormous come on early portal early portal let's get it No luck on the early portal. Well, there's another DB. I can at least do a gamble craft. Let's see if we can get a portal too. Maybe I'll get lucky and be able to do two. There we go. All right, give it to me. Give me the goblins. Needs Gobu's badly. Need a juice uh, drop option for boosting RNG? <laughs> I should add that in. We'll, we'll make it half the cost. <laughs> half price. 
<laughs> Here's a bunch of desperas. Got there's two, four. We got another sword. Could it possibly be the Ambo's Pride? Oh my god, it is! Oh my god, it dropped. I think it is anyway. There's another sword that looks similar to it. Hopefully, that's it. I think it is though. That is a huge power gain. Assuming that's it. I don't want to get too excited yet. I have worked myself up into a frenzy before, and it has not been it. We got some more bads over here. Yeah. Just trying to. I'm hoping to maybe get to 50 dBs. Oh, shit. We got Gobos. Shit. I'm not killing any of them. There's my 50 dBs, no doubt. And potentially an Ambo's Pride uh, to top it off. All right. Nice. Even though I lost half of them, that's still a huge haul. What's better than one goblin shrine? Two goblin shrines. <laughs> Give me another. It's not over yet. I've gotten them back to back before. You can do it, game. You can do it. That's a big score, though. All right. Let's see. What am I at? 140. Yes, yes, yes. There's another another legendary back here. All right, that is finally a little taste of RNG. We'll complete this one though, if I can. I'm assuming I'll be able to. Hopefully. I wish I could do that. 
Oof. This is a big haul right here, y'all. This is the portal I was hoping for. Just the damage gain alone off of being able to work Rendon now, assuming that is an Ambo's Pride, which I think it is. It looks like it. Shit, I'm gonna have to go back. That's a good problem to have. I done filled my inventory of fat loots. All right, let's see if that's the Ambos real quick. It's not, oh my God, jabated. Oh, Jesus. Oh man, that's such a bummer. Like I said, there's two swords that have a similar model. There's another Oculus ring. Save that. Ancient shoulders will keep. I'll keep all that stuff. God, I can't believe that's not it. There's another one there. Yeah, I'm hoping, hoping. I mean, it could be. It, it it could be that same sword again. That's yeah, rhyme again. I mean, I got enough crafting materials where I can go for some... Ambos is a mighty, one-handed mighty weapon, right? I can go for some... A uh, couple of crafts. I got a bunch of DBs now, so... I'm not positive on that. I think it is a mighty weapon, though. That is the end of this one. Might as well fill up and just salvage. Oh, man. Nice, Steven. A little RNG is always nice. Fulminator. So I guess there's three weapons that look relatively similar. Like I said, I think the Ambos is a mighty weapon. We got one for free here. I've got some brand new goods you might be interested in. Well, I mean, I'm not going to complain about that because I love that set for speed farming GRs. The quality of life you get from the Fury regen is so huge. Plus the attack and movement speed, of course. Oh, that's my. I prefer it. Most people go with the Slanderer and the Little Rogue, but I prefer that set, personally. I 
All right, I think we'll go ahead and just use these. They got resist all. We'll use those. I'll definitely save that. I uh, just need the other one. And then this stuff should go in the cube. Can throw the pants. We can use those right now. Because I'm always going to be moving. And we'll throw these in the cube. You have access to a wondrous artifact of old. Yeah, you can run three of anything. Very well. And then we'll give this to the scoundrel just in case I decide to use it. And let me see how many desperates I got. Let me look that up real quick and make sure it's a mighty weapon. Okay, it is a mighty weapon. So, or how many DBs do I have? I can do five. That, and I might get the other Bull Kathos weapon, too. You know? That's in the pool as well. Nope. Nope. Yup. Boom! We're big time now, y'all. We just went big time. Oh my god, I got the other Bull Kathos weapon too. Holy shit balls. It's on now, boys. It is on. <laughs> Alright. Finally I can get rid of this stupid two-handed spear. I've been using a spear, for God's sakes. Alright, let's yoink that. Let's drop Ambos in the cube. Um, I think we keep the... Mesher Schmitz is better than NGM, isn't it? Let's put Ambos there. We'll put that there and that there. We'll trash all this garbage. Oh, it's on now. All right. So we can actually fix Whirlwind now. We don't need Wind Shear anymore because I'll have no Fury problems. I think for survivability right now, we go Blood Funnel. This is nice too, but 180% weapon damage. I think we go Blood Funnel right now. Uh, Rend is already physical. Then I can get rid of War Cry. Maybe I'll keep Warcry for the moment for the survivability. We can get rid of Foot of the Mountain and go with Wrenching. Or I could go Battle Rage. Let's go Battle Rage instead of Warcry. All right. 
see what we can do here now. Let me just try a 47 here and see how it goes. Ah, look at everything die. That is so such an enormous upgrade. Now it's all about survivability. I got the, ba you know, obviously I'm not doing big, big damage, but I got the basics of a damage set going now. And now I just need to worry about trying to stay alive, which is uh, not my strong point. <laughs> but now I can roll rings and try to get a band of might. Yeah, the, the band of might is so huge, you know? God, this feels so much better instantly. That Ambo's Pride, man, it's just, it's so huge, you know? It's like instant beast mode. Yeah, yeah, that's huge. But so now we're going to be the Paragon levels will be pumping off too. Um, because we'll be able to raise. I don't know if we're ready for T16 yet, but we might be. Just need all the bells and whistles now. You know, better versions of everything else, and then. Um. You know, proper follower setup and the survivability. I don't have lamentation yet, so I'll be rolling. Um, I'll actually roll that first. Um, I'll roll belts with Kadala. Because Kadala's got a, a lamentation sitting in there for me. I haven't done a puzzle ring yet. No. I've found one, but I haven't bothered doing it yet. I actually got a Boon of the Hoarder dropped in G GRs. So I didn't, uh, I haven't messed with anything else yet. But I've only found one so far. I mean, now that I can pump the difficulty up, I'll be getting massive, massive more of all the things. So it'll, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. See how the Rift Guardian does here. He should just get slapped. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's a lamentation right there. Maybe RNG is truly smiling. Maybe that belt right there is a lamentation. It's not. I won't be greedy. I'll be thankful for what I have. <laughs> What gem did we get there? I don't even know. I didn't see what gem dropped. I don't know which one it was. We want to work on Tegook anyway. All right. Is it, what is it? Free primal time? I got to look at the altar too and see what I need. I'm not even sure what the next objective is. Oh, I've got the next one. Why haven't I not used it? It's so dumb. I think we go, what do we want to try to get to? We want to try to get to this. Or that. But I think we have to go through there. 
Oh, shit. We need all that crap. I've got the things already. Might as well do it real quick. What do we got here? Oh, I guess it was Enforcer I got that time. Bunch of junk. I'll keep that Immortal Kings for the... For the challenge. Drop this Enforcer off. And we'll go get those other things real quick. What do you go to? Do you go to the crafting materials or do you go to the DBs first? Part of me feels like you go to the crafting materials first. I play D3 every season, uh, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it's seasonal. I, I usually hit Diablo 3 really hard every season. Um, the problem is, is I've done it so many times now, the seasons usually don't last very long for me. And I get bored. That should be the next altar. Well, no, nah, it's just the thing is, is like I'll hit it super, super hard for just a few days. I think I'm going to go for that. We can go double bounty caches and then try to get to the pets pick up. Reaper's wraps. Did I get that recipe yet? I don't think I have Reaper's Wraps yet. No. Which boss is it that drops Reaper's Wraps again, y'all? I don't remember which boss it is. Malthiel? Uh, the seasons are always super fun to play. 
I mean, you can't go wrong with either of those choices. That's a, that's a good problem to have. <laughs> Having two games you want to play, and you have both of them, and all you got to do is log in and play them. That's like the most awesome problem ever, you know? But yeah, man, this season just started yesterday. It's not even been uh, live 24 hours yet. It's basically season 20, um, where you can put any item in the cube that you want. So you can go like three swords, three rings, you know, whatever. The slots have no restrictions. You know, obviously you can't put the same, th you know, two of the same thing or whatever, but. Like I'm gonna go two rings and a weapon. Do your little business, Matthew. Get all crazy with your crazy splodies and give me my Reaper wraps. Thank you very much. The set, the starter set for the DH is the multi shot set. So you can get up and running with multi-shot to farm out the rest of your gear pretty easily. Let's get our Reaper's wraps. Throw those back in there. Impale is always a uh, beast, beast of a build, you know? Double bounty caches or critical hits grant resources. I think for quality of life, we go double bounty caches. And we got immunity to crowd control. Yes, please. And then I need 1,100 blood shards to be able to get uh, the pet salvaging. What's my cap right now? I can't even get to 1,100, so I need to climb. So let's see what I can realistically do. Oh, for sure. The altar of rights is so huge. What have I done so far? I could, I think I could definitely do... You know what? Let's go to T14. I don't know if I'm ready for T16 yet. Screw it. Let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? I fail miserably and have to drop it to T14. That's not the end of the world. See, let's get the the skip first then we'll go after our free primal Ooh, we're not killing anything yeah okay t16 is a little uh a little aggressive for this stage so let's go ahead and drop it to t14 E14 should work though. I mean, it's not pretty, but I should be able to clear it to get my free primal at least. God dang, man. Look at all those DBs. Thanks, game. Thank you so much, Lars. I do appreciate it a ton. All right, just give me a pylon and let me blast this thing. I'll take your 
Jeez, man, no band of might for the loss, huh? Holy crap, I'm taking so much damage. Wow. This is going to be a struggle to get to free primal, but it'll be worth... Yeah, GR70. No, you have to do GR70, but I'm you can if you do a normal rift, you get a skip ahead based off of your tier. So I'm just doing the normal rift to save time. Thanks for following there, Uncle Sam. Appreciate it. Oh man, another death. The dying is going to be real until I get a band of mine. But now I can roll. Well, I need to roll for Lamentation first. And then I'll roll rings until I get a band of mine. We're not spinning and winning quite yet, but we are spinning. I'm just gonna have zero survivability without the band. God damn it, man. Hopefully I don't have to go back and repair too much. I mean, I think that this is gonna be good enough to get a, a GR70 done though. And that's going to give me the free primal, plus it'll uh, push my blood shard cap up, so I, I'll be able to do the next altar. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? All right, I'm going to have to go repair, I think. Just re-rolling my stuff now that I am not dumping all my mats into crafting um, should be a pretty big power gain too because right now I got bum rolls on everything killed myself that time I haven't watched it yet uh, but I do plan on watching it I've heard pretty mixed reviews on it but I think I've heard pretty positive things for the most part well, no, there will never be a last season of Diablo 3, as long as there's people still playing and spending money on it. But the seasons are um, recycled now. Oh, my God. Like, this is a redo of season 20, basically. What's going on there, uh, Rocco? Welcome, welcome. Jesus, I can't stop for a second and get a ground stomp in. They did a great job. Oh, my barb is trash right now, but we're getting there. I figure this season's not even a day old yet, so we'll get there. Uh, just got to go through the, the growing pains. definitely a pos at the moment but they like say we'll get there we'll get there be a lamentation be a lamentation did not look like a lamentation on the ground Little obsidian ring of the zodiac would be nice too. I need aid. 
Good lord, man. It's going to be a struggle for me to get the, the GR70 done, I think. I mean, I should be able to do it, but it's going to be not pretty. But once you get that primal, your free primal unlocked, that means primals are in the drop pool, so... Oh my god, this is just triggering. Another belt. I'll try re I'll try to roll a couple of my pieces to some better uh, better stats. You like non-seasonal? I'm a big fan of seasonal, but you know, I mean, everybody's got their preferred. Yeah, the band of might. Uh, for the win is that's not it no no lamentation either that's all right The Paragon should really be pumping off here for a couple of hundred levels, too. All right, so what did that get me to? That's 67, not quite 70. So I got to do a Torment 15 to get a free access to 70. So let's bump it up to T15. I'll check my gear real quick too. I'm sure I could get some easy, easy upgrades uh, just out of re-rolling. Let's see what we can do here. That's actually pretty decent right there. This one, we can roll this life per hit off to damage. We already rolled that. This is junk. Change, we can roll this to physical. Maybe. There we go. What do we got here? We can go either crit or area damage. Cooldown's not terrible either. Give it a couple rolls and see what we get though. Mm, minimum roll area damage. Let's just stay with the cooldown on that one. What do we got here? Resist all. We can go cooldown or rend. Take that for now. Actually, maybe I don't need the cooldown because I'm going to use... Uh, Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac, but let's see if we can get Rend. I'm not going to dump too much into it, though. Until I get a little bit more saved up. 
Yeah, shit, man. I just can't get a roll here. All right, that's enough for that one. It's getting too expensive. What do we got? We could do life. What is my life? 579,000. Let's leave that as it is for now. That one's still screwed. That one's already rolled. I think that's as good as we can get for the moment. Let me check my booties. We don't need the whirlwind damage. We could put that on armor. It's a really low roll, isn't it? Eh, I guess it's not terrible. Then what about the pants? Uh, we can go armor on the pants too. All right, it's not enormous, but it is something. How are we doing on gems? I need to switch these over to um, diamonds, but I don't want to give up the strength since I don't really have any power yet. So let's do this. Let's see what we can get going here. Get a little more juice. Do we want to go? Let's just go with that for now. I mean, that's a big strength improvement over what I'm using. Not ready to go all the way up on them yet. I don't have enough to do another. Actually, I could do one. It's better than nothing. All right, Rocco, take it easy, man. Thanks for hanging out. All right. So what do we need to do? We're on tier 15 now, so we need to do another Nephilim for the skip. Oh my god, already dying. Jesus, I need that band of mites so bad. Like, I'm afraid to even stop to ground stomp. Impalers are always the best, huh? The impalers and those little bastard porcupine guys. Just drive me nuts. <laughs> All right, this is getting a little over the top.
Oh. If I die too much doing the the GR70, it's going to ruin me. So I need to not die so god dang much. <laughs> Ugh. You started playing D3 on season 16 since then DH was with Impaler was your go-to. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, it's there. If that's uh, the build you want to play, it's a strong build. You know? Alright, where are all these pylons people uh, talked about being existent in the game? I heard there was a thing called pylons. Is this true? Shit, man. Pylons removed in season 31. <laughs> That guy didn't even hit me. All he did was look at me. If I die this much, there's no way I'm going to complete a GR70. Good Lord. I can take it back down to a reasonable level once I get my free primal, but I want to get my free primal. Is it worth the struggle? Of course it is. Because then I'll be able to rage about how the game screwed me again on the free primal. <laughs> Oh my god, I got a Stone of Jordan again. But yeah, there's no way I'm going to get it dying like this much. I need 579,000 health. Seems like it should be good enough. For now, anyway.
Oh, Jesus. Hmm, this is gonna be another death though, because I don't have any of my cooldowns up. Yep. Took you two weeks to get a ring of royal grandeur. Oof. If I would have gotten lucky with a ring of royal grandeur, I would have. I'd just make the probably the guardian set right now for a bunch of survivability. Just every single thing one taps me here is a problem. Problem right now. Like the second, the second ignore pain goes down, it's just over. XP behind. Jesus, man. There's nothing worse than just dying, you know? But I'll get over it. I need healing. Stunned the fuck. What what happened to that stupid no cannot be crowd controlled thing from the altar? Um, let me ban the bot here. Come on, dude. Do you think I'm fucking two? Are you really gonna post that message in chat and think I'm gonna do that? Are you, how how dumb are you? I don't, I just don't get some of these bots. I mean, are people really stupid enough to click that shit? Can't be, right? Nobody is that dumb. <laughs> Oh, come on. You blew my ignore pain cooldown? Shit. Oh, my shit's busted. I'm gonna have to go through here and... There's one in a million that's gonna click it? Probably so. I mean, if not, they wouldn't keep doing it, right? Just, it just amazes me. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to clear a GR-17 or a GR-70 like this. I mean, I'm still going to try because you always get lucky. Tawny got a black guard. Oof. You can always get lucky and, like, roll into one with a bunch of pylons, you know? It's unlocked now. We can just go see how bad it's going to be. What do we got? What do we got? Another Wailing Host. I still haven't seen um, a Focus or Restraint yet.
All right, let's spend the Paragon. Here we go. Can I do it? Or will the choke be too intense? Not stand in the poison. All right, that's a nice little head start. Ah, oh, man, what a shitty map this one is, though. Oh, and the death trains begin. No, no ignore pain up yet. Gotta ignore pain back. God damn it. No, I'm just gonna die way too many times. <laughs> I've been streaming it. Planet Crafter is so awesome. Another just incredibly good game. I'm probably gonna stream that. Um, well, I'll definitely be finishing the playthrough I got started, uh, for sure. All right, where? It's this way. Ugh. At least I'm far enough ahead at the moment. Get the hell out of this map. Planet Crafter. Planet Crafter is real. It's really, really good. If you enjoyed like Subnautica, you will without question love Planet Crafter. It doesn't have a combat element, which a lot of people will prefer to have a combat type element. No, nah, that was only one season. Uh, the Paragon Cap. Everyone hated it. So they took that out the very next season. Oh my god. I need healing. Wish I could do that. Back to hell, dog. No, oh, that is such a thing of beauty. All right, let's get a nice big full map and let me spam ignore pain. Oh 
Oh my god, I died with ignore pain up. Oof. That's all right. That's all right. Weirs. I got time to go back and repair if I need to now. So I got pretty lucky on the tile set. Wasn't uh, too terrible of a group of enemies, you know? Now give me a pylon for the boss and boy, that would be glorious. Can we get a pylon for the boss? Doesn't look like it. It's all right. We got plenty of time. All right, what is it? Looks like it's a... Uh... A two-handed sword. Oh no, it's a belt. Oh my God, be a lamentation. What do you think? What's the trash belt, y'all? Because you know it's junk. can't tell I can't tell which one it is it, it, it's not a gold wrap I don't think well we got the armor for Taeguk now it's I can tell you what it's not it's not a lamentation <laughs> using war cry increases the movement speed for you and all allies i mean that's not actually a terrible belt i'm not using war cry i mean obviously it's not something you would use end game but it's the same belt i'm using right now I mean, we'll take the strength, vitality, and life that's on it, and we'll use it for the moment. We got us some depth diggers. We better keep those just in case we go with, um... a demon hunter at some point. Yeah, I mean, definitely, especially considering you can, um, you can add speed onto Warcry too, you know? And we can throw resist all on it. Maybe. Or do I take this life per fury spent right now? Let's give it one more roll. Oh, there's the resist all. Well, we got primals in the pool now at least. And what, I needed to get to 1100 uh, for the next, I think it was 1100, wasn't it? Yep. Don't take that Tesla with you. You put it in 
I'm not sure on Tal Rashes. I mean, it's Tal Rashes is always such an incredibly strong build, you know. I'm not sure with the if there's anything that changed it. All right, let's drop that back down to say 65s for the plow factor. Dump half our gold. Needs band of might, please. I think there's might only be one more blood shard one before Monday. So I can start gambling for rings. I almost, I mean, part of me thinks I should gamble for the rings first, but lamentation is so huge. It's another big, big, big damage multi, you know? I'll probably do belts. I'll keep dying and um, try to power through it a little. Yeah, the chances of getting that in the pool is smaller. The cost is lower to roll. Like, er everything says do Lamentation, you know? As far as just RNG goes. There's god dang porcupines. I'm gonna kill you now, you damn porcupine. Let's get out of Porcupineville here. <laughs> I must wait I will not Need more time. In that case, probably going to need to dig through some info because Tarash Meteor was a super strong build. Necro is broken as hell. It's without a doubt the strongest build, the strongest class in the game. If you like playing the Necro, just go Necro. You won't regret it. If you want to play something like broken level strong, the Necro is the way. Just crazy, crazy strong. I must wait longer. I need Uh, the, it's season 20 stuff so it's the one where you can throw all your any item you want in the cube you could have three rings or three weapons or whatever I can't carry anymore right 
right, let's go turn in, then we'll come back and yoink those 146. Quality of life, yes please. So what, I need a ring of royal grandeur for the next one. We'll try to get both of those. I don't know if I can go one more past that. What do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Ten. Uh, I can go with the death's breath. Yeah, so, like, I'm going to end up going two rings and a sword in the cube. Uh, right now, I got two weapons and pants, just because I don't have anything else yet. All right, so we got Boyarski's that time. I think we'll start pushing up uh, Strick in here. At least get it to level 25 for the increased damage to bosses. No, um, for me, I'll probably, I mean, I may end up playing with a Ring of Royal Grandeur set up later, but I'm going to go um, Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac and um, I got a Aguila Caress. Is that one better than the, I guess Yans is resource generation. I put that in because I was having resource struggles, but that was before these. So yeah, I should pull that. Oh, look at this. Homie getting flavor. My boy's got some flavor. You go, buddy. The flavor has arrived. Yeah, that would probably be huge. Where did I put it? What did I do with it? Oh shit, did I scrap that by accident or did I already cube it? Oh, I already cubed it. Yeah, that would be huge for sure right now. Another 50%, um, another 50% damage reduction. Good call, good call. We got a convention. We'll throw that um, on the Butcher's Carver. We'll keep that for the set dungeon. I already cubed that. I think we get rid of this wailing host now and go with the coe but i'm gonna want to roll it attack speed what do we want we want crit and resist all is okay for the moment but i want crit come on really don't make me blow them all i got 33 gems for god's sakes don't be that away Lord. All right, screw it. Looks like we're staying with that for now. So now I'm up to 698,000. That should help a little bit. Uh, plus the survivability from the 
Aguila. All right. So now we need more blood shards to gamble, but I can do a little gamble right now. Come on, lamentation. It is not a lamentation. And neither is that. And not enough DBs. Oh, is it a mighty belt? It is a mighty belt, you're right. So I used the wrong belt. Good call. All right. Let's see if that was much of a difference. That should be huge for that 50%. In fact, that might actually be an option um, for a permanent use thing instead of going with a band of might. Because that's 100% uptime. A band of might's only going to be. The band of might's more, though, isn't it? Isn't it a bigger multiplier? Or a bigger damage reduction. Yeah, up to 80%. Yeah, that's huge. Especially if it goes, you know, you go throw it in the cube. You don't even need a good one. like dying huh yeah, that's pretty significant though Definitely a nice big uh big big help there on the on the living. Living is good. dead end, isn't it? No? Guess not. Come on, give me my little dailies. Damn it. I got the double bounty caches already. Maybe I should do a bounty cash uh, run. Not to see if there's any public games listed. What do you think I can handle for a full group? Like T10? As far as a public bounty cash run. See if I can get lucky and get me like three rorgs. 
How incredible would that be? Tier 13, maybe? Huh. Well, I'll see what's available. This early, even though it's, you know, it's still pretty early in the season, so. There may not be um, a whole lot of groups. Get busted up. Come on, be trapped. Is it? No. Swiftness. Where am I being of the trapped? That gives you that nice cooldown reduction too. Unity. Oh, good. Ah. That's, I knew that wasn't a lamentation, but it's the closest uh, icon model to lamentation that I've seen so far. The lovely Rhymeheart for the bazillionth time. Well, it's tier 11 or so. You think should be decent enough? People normally do like 10s, 14s. Um,. I mean, we'll pop, I'll pop out and see what people are doing. Can't imagine I'm going to use that, but it might actually be an upgrade for him for now. Let's see what's going on in the wonderful world of public bounty matches. Well, now you still the scale, um, the enemies scale up, uh, even if the other person's not in the same zone as you. Venture, public, bounties, no tier 14s, no tier 12s, one tier 10. Oof. I mean, I can't do it yet, but there's no way there's T16s going yet. Oh, I don't even have T16 bounties unlocked yet. Let's just go to the 10. I'm barely getting through tier, tier 15 solo by myself. I'm certainly not going to do that. I want it to go quick, you know? I'm just looking for the, the chance at a Rorg. This does feel too low, but that's all right. As long as it goes fast. I can't do a T16 by myself. I can't handle my own area. I'm not gonna get carried. I'm not gonna be that guy that can't handle the content that jumps into the group. That's to do my part, you know? Yeah, it's way too easy.
Oh man, we only got three people. Whatever, dude. Oof. Wrong way for the loss. Oh man, really? That's a set to the waste set dungeon. I've never done that one. Alright, that is not the right way. What's going on, Panda Bear? How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. Not ready yet. Just trying to get my season, uh, my Diablo three season moving along. Uh, I'm not gonna look at it right now. I don't. I don't like tabbing out of my stream to do things in Discord or whatever. I mean, you can send it to me, but I'm not gonna look at it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. Send me a message after stream. I'll check it out. Got kill Erdif. What do we got? A hundred. We need a hundred bodies. people gotta at least go t12 just for the dbs right these are the ones i hate when you don't need very many kills but the enemies are so spread out all over the place
Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Dude went and hit me anyway. Luckily, once I, what do I need? It, basically, I need three Ring of Royal Granders. One for a follower, one for me, and one for the altar. But you get so many bounty materials from the portal thingy now that you just don't need to do bounties, uh, you know, unless you need other drops, bounty specific drops. After this one, I'll pop out and go into a, a T12. Go into a T12 or so. At least I'll get more dust breath in. See you hiding over there, dude. What's up, side tank? Just finished spring planting. Nice. It's still a little too early here uh, for that. They started. My wife, I think, is gonna get some um, some stuff started inside under a grow light. Monday I'm gonna is gonna be my first big um full mow though. So Monday night I'll be crying about my back hurting and everything else. <laughs> Giving everybody the I'm too old for this uh this shit discussion. Did that today too? Oof. This will be the first one of the the first big mo of the year, so I'll have to like do a little maintenance on the tractor and stuff first. Just getting into it uh, today, Cytec, or not yet? 
You got a little more time for your uh, your necro grindage. Four more baddies. There they are. It looks like he finished it. Ah, did you use the, um, the Hadrick's gift? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that's good. You'll have that for your main then. Just pop it open now and equip it all. Or I'm assuming you already did. All right, come on, Ring of Royal Grandeur. I ain't seeing no rings. Amulets. There's a ring. Boom! It's just that easy, y'all. It only takes one try. So, oop, I need the one flawless. I'm gonna have to go buy some, uh, buy some dye. Let's do that. What up there, Squirt? All right, don't salvage the ring. Don't salvage the ring. Don't salvage the ring. Hmm. Yeah, we can trash that. All right, I went with Sage's gloves, so I'll have to change those. We need a follower bag. We'll just make that the follower bag for now. All right, so let's see what we can do. I think we'll go with the uh, we'll go with the amethyst. Alright. 
You unlocked pinning chips and planet crafter that let you pin item recipes. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's good stuff for sure. All right, so I feel like I want to go over this way to get down to the pets pick up death's breath. Now we need a green. I have to go back and buy some green dye too. Yeah, I don't remember that. Do I have? Yeah, we can just go buy some. Actually, do I have enough to make one? I do. I think I'm going to use a different pet. This guy is getting caught on a lot of stuff all of a sudden. All right, so we want to go pets pick up DBs. And now we need a Rama Lama. A Rama Lama Lama. We need the primordial ashes for those. Yep, all RNG now on the, the Rama Lama Lama. We'll throw this stuff. Oops. And there. And we got a bunch of gambling mats. Lamentation, lamentation, lamentation. Oh, lamentation. We lose some stats, but gain increased by 100%. Isn't that... A max roll? Or it, no, it goes up to 150 or something like that, doesn't it? But, I mean, that's still a massive, massive damage gain. Farewell, free primal. Oh, that's a minimum roll. <laughs> I mean, it's still, like I said, it's still a massive, massive gain. Ooh, let's keep the Immortal Kings. All right. This bash damage needs to go. I think we'll just go resist all for the moment. What does that put my resist all at? Where it... I mean, um, it's getting there. It's getting there. Still got a ways to go, but it's getting there. All right. Now that. Hmm. What is a tier 16? Let's just do our NAF and see how it goes that. It's a lot more damage. Oh, yeah.
There we go, y'all. I can finally put my big boy pants on. Not doing great, but... I may not be wearing the big boy pants well, but I'm at least wearing them. It's kind of it, those pinning chips. It, it kind of seems weird to me that they put that as an unlock. You'd think that that would be a, a feature, you know, like a default feature. But, I mean, at least it's there in unlock form, you know? Oof. Paragon level should just rip off now. For a minute or two, anyway. God dang, just need that Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac now. Well, and the Bandamite. Better Lamentation will be nice, too. Who am I kidding? I still need all the things, right? No pylons around this mofo anywhere. Uh, Crusader King just gave me the slapping. You're like, no, nope, we ain't having you spinning all around up in here like that. New. No. <laughs> Damn. I'm, I'm sitting here wondering why the enemies haven't despawned. I just realized I'm in a regular Nephilim Rift. Forgot. Oops.
Well, it's my first T16 anyway. No ring of mites for me. All right, that was what? That's a G, uh, GR seventy five. Oh, God dang, really? Not ready yet. I am badly hurt. Still recharging. How takes your fear? Thanks for following there, Shahir. Appreciate it. Not stand in the splodies. Took the dead end. Boo. Started watching the Fallout series. Just let her start watching it. She's hooked. Episode four now. That's awesome. I still haven't checked it out at all yet. I'm glad that it doesn't suck, though. All right, yeah, we have plenty of time left there. Mm. 
moratorium. Another meh gem. She got totally invested into a few of the characters in the series. Well, that's a good thing. What we got, what we got. I don't think we want to go that route this uh, season. Ew, was that? It was. Let's throw the furnace in here. Big sticker? We got us a pig sticker. I can't remember what it is I needed for the next altar thing. Oh, that's right. A Rama Lama Ding Dong. What's up, Barnaware? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, Rama Lama Ding Dong and Kadalas. Your blood shards are not called blood shards. They are called Kadalas because they are all of Kadalas Dallas. <laughs> I got that from the group of people I, uh, I, I can't even say normally play with because they all quit now. I mean, I, I don't even know if there's anyone at all online in my clan except me. Or it's not my clan, but the clan that I'm in. Let me look. Give me a minute. Oh, one member online. Yeah, we done went. Uh, we done. We done went inactive, y'all. This is the guy that got me back into playing Diablo two. Oh, there's Sophisticus. How the hell did you get a thousand? Or that's. There's no way that's your seasonal. Or do, have you not slept there, Soft? Oh, that's last season. Okay, I was going to say, holy shit, man. <laughs> like, damn, you've been going. The, the Will It Blend edition. <laughs> Almost. 
Like I was saying earlier, I got the spin part down. I just don't quite have the wind part dialed in yet. So instead of spin to win, we are spin to die frequently uh, currently. <laughs> but getting there, getting there. Spin to die frequently. Oh man. How, much of a, how bad of a wrong turn was that I just took? Oh, not bad. Okay. I think right now, an Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac would be a big score. Uh, getting a better Lamentation, of course, would be huge. Getting the Band of Might would be huge. And then some quality of life things like Nems for my follower would be pretty huge. Wow, is there no elites down here at all? Hmm. Guess not. Oh, he slapped me. You gotta get a liver transplant? Holy shit, dude. Wow. Jesus, I knew you were in and out of the hospital, but I didn't realize it was that extreme. that Leorks in the cube. And we'll give the flavor to the Enchantress. Don't have strength. Okay, good. What's going on there, DJ Doug? Uh, going good, man. Going good. Made it into strength. That's a plus. Let's see if we can get up to GR90 here today. Mm, 
stuff's dying a lot slower. more damage too. I haven't tried it yet. I my first impression is it's not big, big enough of a change to make a difference. So I haven't even bothered trying it yet. I, I mean I'm sure it's better. But a better tier of trash is still going to be trash. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I haven't tried it yet, so. You're going to have to have anti-heal out in the lane. Uh, for sure. Or Chieftain will just pound all over him. They're not going to be able to take many hits. Jesus, I'm just getting wrecked now. All right, maybe I was a little overzealous thinking I was going to make it to GR90 already. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Well, it's, the shard just needs to be seriously buffed. I mean, naming it a blockade won't do anything. You know, I would rather have it as a DPS tower. But if you're going to add some kind of utility into it like that, the shard needs to be way buffed. I mean, it would ha be, uh, have to be like take 90% reduced damage, you know? It, it would have to be an extreme buff. Because it's never going to be worth spamming down a whole bunch of... What? F are they 40 or 50 DU? It's never going to be worth using, you know? you just be able to get so much more accomplished. I mean, even a werewolf is just invincible. And you're going to need at least two puffer fish to cover what one werewolf could do. So I think that one's going to need massive changes. As soon as they get the finger off the nerf button and put it on the buff button, maybe, uh, maybe we'll see an improvement there. But right now, it's all about nerf everything. Nerf everything except what's used in very end game. That's that's the part I don't get. <laughs> Who gives a shit if people are farming expeditions with stuff because it's strong? If it's not strong enough to use end game, you know. But anyway, yeah, I'm not gonna rant about that today. Uh, the general rule is if you're gonna play less than 15 hours. Uh, before Monday, then use the cash. If you're going to play more than 15 hours, then don't use the cash. The most efficient way, 100%, is use the cash. It's going to shave, like, at a minimum, at least an hour of gameplay off. Just in the leveling process. But at this point, you know, getting a power level shouldn't be too difficult. So if you don't want to use the cash, you definitely don't need to use the cash. You know? Well, it still is. That hasn't changed. Everything that used to work in C10 still works. I was just complaining more about why are, are we buffing things that are not used in the very end game? Or why are we nerfing things that are not used or usable at all in the very end game? So it just it's it forces the end game meta 
which was already pretty established, it solidifies it, you know? It's one of the reasons, a big part of the reason why nobody wants to bother pushing survival or climbing onslaught. It's, you know, you use the exact same shit every map. There's no diversity. And that's that's one of the big struggles. Man, how did I run out of juice like that? Well, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, you know? It's just, it's an old game. That's why I just don't understand why they're putting all the effort into it. Well, I can tell you why. They're trying to set it up for more automated sustainability. You know, the more, the more challenging, I guess, they can make the very end game, the easier it's going to be to, up, you know, put in updates with minimal work. So, I mean, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to give the game a life past six months or, you know, whatever. I just personally am a believer in you don't call shit balance unless you buff something that's bad. If all you do is nerf things that are good and you don't buff anything that's bad, that's not balance. That's nerf bad. And I mean, I know they know this, but that's what all the uproar is about. Nobody thinks that the game is unplayable. People are just mad because so much got nerfed and nothing got buffed, you know? And I think that's pretty fair. I throw in power. All right, nine minute, uh, 81. We will not be pushing to 90 quite yet. We got a Zaze. We got another gold skin. Instantly restore 60% life. Or the other one did too. Become immune to crowd control. I don't need that. Let's go with this one. And then, does my boy already got him a gold skin? He does. We'll stick this one in the follower stash here. Man, I have still not gotten a legendary ring from Kadala out of all those attempts so far. The Mystic's defenses are good, and her crowd control is incredibly good. But not a whole lot else about her is incredibly good. We got 55 ashes, 26 keys. I might as well re-roll this to a socket. God, I wish I wouldn't have done that. I hit the wrong button. Oh, there we go. God, it's a big drop in strength, but now at least we can throw a gem in there. Know what we'd want to use for the meantime. All 
I mean, I guess for right now, I just throw powerful in there. Swiftness is an interesting thought, and it resolves the cooldown issues. But the real answer there is an Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. Is that the one with the little splody bombs that rolled out? That one's still there. It's got an incredibly irritating audio uh, file attached to it. <laughs> yeah, not the same as it was. I mean, granted, when it was covering the whole map with them, it was, you know, you were living that 15 FPS life. Do I even want to try for 90 yet? I mean, I gotta at least get my gems squared away. What do we have? Let's see. I don't have enough for two stacks. That's one too many. All right, so that's one good gem. And I just don't have enough. Let's do this. I mean, I'm going to want to switch these out later anyway. But we can go from 220. That's an extra 180 strength. Let's make one more. not a ton more damage but it is something and it's more more toughness or more armor i want to switch these out for um what diamonds eventually i think yeah for the resist all I'll try it, see how ugly it is. Pretty damn ugly so far. <laughs> it's just walking a real fine line between life and death here. <laughs> nope, death is imminent.
I'll probably still be able to clear it, but I'm not trying to do eight minute clears here. Too early for that. Uh, since I'm not really caring about pushing. Yeah, this is ugly. Oof. Yeah. This is a nope, I'm thinking. Let's get our resource up so we got the Aguila Karas popping at least. Dang. The Dune movie was not... Oh, Dune, you mean? Dune was good. I don't really like the way they ended it. But it was good. They ended it completely with the intention of making part three. I, I can't stand it when a movie does that. Unless it's, like, designed that way up front. And Dune does have a long series of books and stuff. Um, But... I don't know. I feel like they could have gave it a little slightly different ending. I, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody that hasn't seen it, but... But yeah, it's well worth watching. It is long. Uh, you got to be prepared for that. I guess I should go see if I can handle a T-16 portal. Not ready yet. After this. I'm definitely a little ways away from being able to farm GR-90s, you know? And that's, of course, what I want to get to for the loot. I don't mind doing like three minute or four minute GR 90s, but to break in, but I don't want to be doing eight minute or, you know, whatever. Saw so that coming when my ignore pain wore off the ancient smile on me the rift guardian is here i am badly hurt 
Oof. Man, really? All right, definitely not pretty. Keep going on stricken for now. Oh, that was trapped. I think that was Bane of the Trapped. I wasn't, I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. Is that what it was? That is what it was. Sweet. All right, let's yoink this. And we'll go with trapped instead. Band of Might. Ba boom. Oh, that Leorix I'm not using. I think I cube this. Cause it's a what's the max roll in a band of might? Sixty to eighty, so yeah, that's a pretty low roll. So let's cube it. And then we'll pop that out and throw that in. And I should be damn near invincible now. Um, but I also just removed my Messerschmitt's Reaver, so I need to get an Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac like yesterday. Uh, I could have actually given that to the follower, but that's all right. All right. Well, maybe we do keep uh, trying to push. Every run is giving me like 30 more strength, too, which isn't a huge gain, but it is something. And giving me more uh, overall toughness. Man, getting another primal would be real nice right now. Let me primal a weapon. Many messengers have stood where you are now, but few succeeded in overcoming. Not ready yet. Yeah, the cooldown is a problem now. I just can't keep that band of might buff up for very long. I think a mantle of channeling would be a decent find right now. I could swap out the Aguila Karas for it. And I'd still get, I'd have the survive, or I'd still have some survivability, but I'd also get a little more damage out of it. I actually think I might want to throw that back in and take out the Gila Karas now. Because I desperately need that cooldown, you know?
Shit, man. Completely missed the door, huh? Or over this way, maybe? There we go. Died going back for a. Don't even know if it was an elite or not. It wasn't. <laughs> Oops. God dang it, man. I mean, like I said, I'm clearing it, but it's just not... I'm not clearing it smoothly. And I don't need to be doing GR90s yet. I can level my stuff up, you know? I can do that in GR50s if I wanted to. Damn, man. <sighs> well, I mean, the builds haven't changed in years and years and years. So, I mean, once you learn them, you know what it is, you know? Yeah, I am just getting wrecked now. There we go. That's exactly what I need. Come on. Give me the power. Nope. Still just getting slapped. Yeah, it's the last one I'm going to try to push up and until I get myself a little bit more survivability here. No fun dying this many times. That in this run is, what, on pace for 10 minutes or whatever? Not a very efficient use of time. I kind of want to try a T16 portal because there's so much loot in those things, you know? Saved by the pylon. Yeah, that was over 10 minutes.
what I'll do is lower it back down and do a little blasting to at least get the stricken and the trapped up to level 25. There's another band of might. <laughs> Once they start dropping, they just continue, right? There's 123% lamentation. I mean, it's a straight upgrade. 23% damage multi. I don't think I need to keep that, but I'll keep it for now anyway. Another Immortal Kings. I think we got enough. Yeah, I got enough pieces now. One, two, three, four, five. Almost enough pieces to convert and get the set dungeon done. All right, so. Well, we want to get rid of this weapon throw and get resist all or life or life per fury spent. I'd be fine with that too. Anything but that weapon throw though. It's a minimum roll or damn near minimum roll. Here's a hundred wrist resist all. That's actually a max roll in the resist all. So that's a little bit of a damage multiplier. And what do we need? Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. Do I have enough mats to throw some away? Not many. I can do three. That one's a nope. That one's a nope. There it is. <laughs> God, I'm kind of getting a little bit lucky every now and then with some of this stuff. Well, we can roll resource cost off of it to a gem and actually use it for the moment if I can get lucky see if we can get a gem socket here Not wanting to give it up. Come on now. Don't do me this way. All right. I think that might be worth uh, dumping some more dust at, though. Let me see. What do we need for that? It's red. We need a Imperial Ruby. That would be incredibly cool. That's for sure. Hmm. Well, we can just convert those diamonds, I guess. We'll convert uh, two stacks of those. Oh. And then a couple stacks of these. I mean, that gives me 
more than sufficient amount of rerolls. And it only took one. Get rid of that. We'll put that there. We'll put that there. I'm back down to 589,000 health, but I can live with that for the moment. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'll live, but. <laughs> All right, now that is huge. That will keep my ground stomp spammable, which means I could probably get rid of this. But what would I put in in its place? I don't have anything else to put in in its place right now that's worth using. I don't need that. I mean, Leorix would give me even more cooldown, but we got the furnace actually. Might be the furnace is worth using, I think, for the moment anyway. All right, let's try to do um, a T16 um, a T16 portal here. But yeah, man, a, a Ramalama that you could throw onto a ring would be absolutely incredible. Uh, you know? Would be beyond awesome for sure. Well, give me an early portal now. Doesn't want to give me an early portal. It's all right. We'll get one from this, certainly, right? Surely we'll get one from this. Maybe we won't. The ancients have blessed me. Wow, man, game hating. Game's hating on me. Where the hell's the damn portals?
seems kind of crazy bad luck. I have so many enemies. There we go, finally. Ooh, slapped. I guess I'm not ready to one-hand it yet. I gotta use two hands. <laughs> I was hoping to be able to just uh, chill for a minute and sip on my coffee and use my little Razor Naga <laughs> to press the buttons. It looks like I'm not quite ready for that. Man, that is such massive, massive quality of life with your pet picking all that stuff up. That is so good, man. Could you imagine if PoE had something like that that actually worked with your loot filter? Oh my God. That would be so incredible. Still struggling a little bit to kill these guys in a timely fashion. That would be a feature that I would personally be more than happy to pay for in PoE. You know, if it was like a, a $10 add-on, <laughs> you know. Jesus, this guy is shredding me. I gotta kill him now. I can't let him live after that. Oh yeah. We in the money. If I can kill him. Well, definitely didn't get them all, but... Oh, we got a primal. Primal on the ground. Primal on the ground. Now, what that would be called is 55 primordial ashes. <laughs> That's what that would be called. It's not a shield at all. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it's supposed to be a 1% chance. I, I... I don't know. I have doubts that that is accurate. But people say that it's a 1% chance, so... You know, as far as odds go, that would be 1 in 100 kills. As far as probability goes, that would be more like... What, 1 in a couple hundred or 300 kills or whatever, probably? And it's got to be just out in the world. Well, that's the thing, is if it's a 1% drop chance, or a 1% chance to pop, you got to remember it's a 1% chance every time, not with no pity system. So, like, 1 in 400, 1 in 300, or whatever, would be pretty, you know, pretty realistic. Jesus, man. I grow weak. I get it, girl. I get it. They smacking you. Mm -hmm. This is the end. Anytime you got the lone goblin, it's always the last map. It gives you a goblin as a consolation prize for it being over. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that was doable. I had some deaths, but... Nothing, um... Nothing too triggering, you know? And, you know, there's a lot of loot, especially in T-16. Ridiculous amount of crafting materials and just mad, mad, mad amounts of loot. Ew, we can't even loot at all. Well, yeah, I would rather hold off on that puzzle ring until I have a bunch of those primordial ashes. Um. Yeah. Elusive ring. My demon hunter would be happy. My non-existent demon hunter. And there's our lidless wall. Or pardon me, there's my 55 primordial ashes. We got a bovine, our first bovine bardiche of the season. Another puzzle ring. We got stragglers. I didn't realize. They more loot. Go, go, little Pat. Work overtime. I'll give you extra bacon snacks. I mean, that was what? That was like five GRs worth of loot? Like five level 90 GRs worth of loot at that. 
So I think those things, especially when you're in the loot stage of the game, where you're just trying to complete your stuff, I just don't, I, I just can't see anything better than that, you know? It's just, it's so much loot, so much crafting materials. And the kicker there is it's so much crafting materials that I didn't have to pick up. But we got 110 primordial ashes. Which one are we going to do? Let's do this one. Or do I unlock... What do you guys think? Unlock that or upgrade my weapon? What's this one? That's the runic circles one. I mean, I could take one of these or upgrade the weapon. I think I'd go with this one. God, man, I really want to upgrade my weapon, though. <laughs> I want the shiny primal weapon. Man, decisions, decisions. Mmm. I, I think the smartest thing to do would be to do this. But the most gluttonous thing to do would be to upgrade my weapon, and I really want to... Let me stare at it for a minute. Man. Ooh, like I said, decisions, decisions. I mean, that wipes out my primordial ashes completely. Mm, man. Screw it. Doing it. Bam. Oh, equipped items cannot be upgraded. See, the game is even trying to stop me. Too late. The damage is done. <laughs> now, what do we roll for the attack damage? We want the 10% damage. And there we go. All right. We got us a Bulkathos Solemn Vow ready to slap fools. Still only 400,000 sheet damage. So awful. All right, let's try to. That was a pretty good one. Let's try. Um, let's see if we can get lucky on another. Um, 
another portal here. Slapping. We are slapping. We're getting slapped too, but we are slapping. Now I just need to find another primal so I don't feel bad. Oh, I'm spinning harder. That is confirmed. Not the right way. I need Wrecked. I guess I should have took damage resistance, huh? <laughs> Oops. No going back now. No going back now. Give me the stupid portal, would you? Dude, do you get a portal in the cow level? I think you do, right? You can get a portal in the cow level? That'd be lots of baddies. We got it. Now just give me the go booze. Let's see the go booze. I must wait badly first. The ancient smile on you. No, I'm at a am I at a stage where I yeah, I still need gear. I can't be just ignoring the legendaries. We are far from the ignore it if it's not primal stage. Ooh, this things get me every damn time. And there's the little rogue. Oop. Wrong portal. Finally, the little rogue drops. So much loot in these things, though. Holy crap, man. It's just incredible the amount of loot you get. Oh, come on. I just hit it. You see the cooldown? Damn it, man. Still just taking too much damage.
died with nothing else alive. Glorious. No, well, that was the end, sadly. I love the whole bounty mat thing, though. Not having to do bounties to get the, the bounty mats. What kind of fat loots we got here? Drop that off. Still no focus or restraint. There's the little rogue. I can save that. Everything else is junk. <clears throat> Not much XP in those, though. But the loot is incredible. <clears throat> Let's try to do one more round of them. I need to just get off this and get my gems leveled, but... Just one more. Oh, what the hell? One floor? I got robbed, man. Robbed. You don't see many of those. Where it's just straight up one floor. Can't seem to get this guy dead. Boo. All right, well, we can go back out and see if we can get lucky on another one in the temple there.
Boom. Ooh. Shit. Saw that coming. This uh, particular tile set triggers the shit out of me because I can smash through the most incredible doors the game has to offer, yet a torch is going to be impossible for me to get past. <laughs> the impassable object. Um, it would have to be a bow with five projectiles. It's based off of the projectiles. So anything, if it's a single, anything with one projectile, it works with. If it's a triple, anything with pre three projectiles, it works with. Lost Ark was crazy with train collision. I enjoyed Lost Ark for a while. Oh, I didn't see him. <laughs> Not a very profitable run that time. Do we have nothing? Let's blast a few GRs. I'm assuming I got a bunch of keys out of that too, right? 33, not necessarily a bunch, but I got some. Let's do some like just T16 ones to get through them super fast and uh, get these gems squared away. At least get like the trapped up to 25, you know? Actually, I should blow all my gold, huh? I didn't think about that. Because I shouldn't be dying here unless I just derp.
Whoa, spoke too soon, I guess. Still haven't seen a single pair of Nemesis bracers either. All right, well, we got two there. Then let's start working on Trapped. Shoot, I forgot to spend again. Jesus, I feel like I haven't made any progress for as far as I've gone. I mean, the time's still great, so I can't, I, I guess I haven't gone that far, but.
Mutilation Guard, it looked like that time. Time we get into three o'clock. Like made pretty good progress today though i mean it's kind of as expected progress to be honest Here's another ambos i better keep that just in case i end up using those at least keep it for a moment anyway Right, now what else are we looking for? Well, I mean, we could still roll rings and amulets, I think. Because I wanted to use focus and restraint. But I haven't seen a single one of them. And then it can go band of the might, uh, band of the might and obsidian ring of the zodiac here. do one more real quick i am uh going with some friends to watch uh ufc 300 tonight which starts in about an hour so i think this will probably be my last one here of the day tomorrow I'm not sure. I need to stream some DD2. Uh, but I also want to continue that Planet Crafters playthrough. So I'm not sure when my next Diablo stream will be. Um, and then Monday, I've got a Mo. Monday, I got Real Life Farm Day. So I won't be streaming Monday at all. Or I don't plan to at the moment anyway. Because I'm going to be literally out on the tractor... Probably 10 hours. It's gonna be rough. My first actual work day of the year, like as far as the manual labor stuff around the house, since we live on a big, uh, big property. See, I'm not sure what I will stream tomorrow. Probably some DD2, but I'm not positive. Or maybe a split stream and do like half a day of DD2 and half a day of um, of uh, either Diablo or um, Planet Crafters.
Where are the primals? Let's see if we get our first uh, focus or restraint there. Let's see. Still no focus or restraint. Another, another cow level. We'll save that. And then I don't think I need a traveler's pledge. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using that at all. All right, one more round of ring rolls. Well, there's a focus. I think that's going to fit in decent. I mean, it's a raw 50% damage multi, you know? With pretty much 100% uptime. Not sure if I'm going to be using those yet, but I'll keep that around for now. So yeah, anyway, y'all, a little early, um, early end today. But like I said, I want to, uh, I'm going to go watch UFC 300. It's going to be some pretty good fights uh, tonight for anybody that's into that sort of thing. I, for one, love watching people beat each other up. But anyway, that is going to get it for me for now, though. So thank you all so, so much for hanging out. Hopefully everyone's having a great weekend. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take it easy, y'all.